So this is flight one with the Goblin 380. I think this might be one of the last relatively warm days that we have up here. So again, I, I'm happy to have been able to kind of sneak out a little bit for a few quick flights, I hope. So I think with the Goblin 380 today, I'm going to work a little bit on my transitions to inverted. As, uh, it seemed a little uh, slow on the on the flip there. I don't know why that was. I'll try that again. Hmm. I don't know. I can't remember if I have the. I can't remember if I have the. Um, different banks set to switch with this heli. I think I do. Maybe I'm feeling, maybe I was talking about this the other day because I was flying in bank two with the T-Rex 500. Maybe I'm feeling a little bit of uh, the difference in um, the ability settings, but I don't know. That was, a, that was a solid forward flip for me there. Definitely a little breezy today. But nothing uh, too concerned about really the main transitions I wanted to work on here were roll. So let's get into that. I've been practicing this, practicing this a lot and I just, I still don't have the confidence and calmness to do it with the real helis. Or sorry, I've been doing it obviously, but I definitely don't have the same level of confidence as I do with the back and forward flips. I've also been working on my uh, tail end hovers. That was very, very much under control. I really credit that all to the sim time I've been putting in. I'm still most comfortable rolling to the right with the tail end here. Um, not sure if I'm brave enough to try rolling to the left for now, but. I don't know, if it keeps going as well as that, I might. Alright. Oh, what the hell. Let's try it to the left. Alright, I bailed out of hovering there because I didn't want to lose it, but hey. That's still a decent roll. Let's try that again. And the wind though, I should mention now, is blowing from the left to my right. So I'm sure a bit of that was the wind kind of grabbing it. Once again, I just feel I was <laughs> not going to catch that one in time. I really want to work on these rolls and, and getting into the tail end hover. And I'll tell you why. It's because I am itching to try uh, half pyro flips. I've been working on a ton on the sim and I'm actually doing it quite well there. I just, uh, you know, if I'm not confident catching it like that, 20. which that one was pretty good. I'm not confident catching it like that with the tail end on the roll. There's Ten, no way I'm going to do it on eight, the pyro flip if things seven, go wrong. Six, Obviously, if five, it's done perfectly, four, 
Oh. It'll be in control oh. the whole the oh. whole time. All right, good first flight. Flight two, I'm gonna continue with uh, practicing my rolls. Maybe hold uh, the tail end hover a little longer. Build a little more confidence with that. My tail end inverted hover that is. So again, you know, I'm, I've definitely built uh, some confidence with the tail end inverted, as you can see. I actually gave it, as I say that, I gave it a little bit of the wrong input there. <laughs> and it went a little further away from me. <laughs> oh man. Concentrate. You gotta concentrate. It only takes a moment of uh... wow! Look how you see. I uh, went left, and I just uh, just gave it too much, and uh, and was it a little off on the timing? And look what that did. Jeez. Okay, let's try it again. Let's. I don't want. Wow, that was not, those were two pretty poor attempts. Okay, that's a, uh, jeez, why, I don't know, I wonder why that is. You know, it's gotta be, it's something you have to work on, I guess. Let's go. Yeah, definitely something with the timing. And try left again. Take it easy. I don't want things to end in disaster or anything. That was better. Okay, again, a couple of be honest with you, I know it seemed, look, might have looked a little stable, but I, I did kind of give it a couple of uh, very slight wrong inputs there as I was, you know, hovering tail in there. And this is what I'm talking about, you know. Fortunately, you know, I'm not doing anything too crazy, so it's not, it's not too difficult to recover. And I'm confident enough that, you know, um, I'm not giving huge incorrect inputs. But uh, I want to be spot on, you know, before I start something, you know, completely new, like the Pyro flips I want to try. Still a little dicey on the left hand uh, on the left hand rolls. Still a little dicey. I think it's visibly much better with the right hand rolls. As I kind of 
make that one a little sloppy coming back over but my main goal was just to get comfortable doing these more and more I'm nowhere near as comfortable as doing the backwards and forward flips but it's coming I'm not afraid as I kind of get that feeling sometimes when it's something completely new Okay, a couple of sketchy moments, but overall we're still in one piece.